Hey guys, it's Charmise Idris here and today I'm going to show you how I take product photos and Instagram photos on my phone. I like to use minimal equipment sometimes. I do have two DSLR cameras and I have two mirrorless cameras around the house. But sometimes I don't feel like going through all that. Sometimes I just want to use my phone and just post it instantly. So I'm going to take you through my process of taking the photos, um, what stuff I use to you know jazz up my photos and how I edit them and how I organize them for posting. So today we're going to take photos of this cucumber hydrazole. You may remember this from the label video. Today we need to take pictures of it. Um, just in case you need help with labels, I will tag those up in the cards as well. So uh, first we need to talk about backgrounds. So there's a couple different, actually there's a lot of different ways you can do backdrops or backgrounds for your photos. One way is to get like this type of uh, photo white box or whatever it's called and you can open it up. There's an LED light in there. Some of them come with the lights back here and you can, you know, put that together and then there's this piece of fabric that you can pull out and, you know, take pictures right there and it's like a small seamless backdrop. I don't really use this one. It's cheap, so I don't recommend it either. <laughs> but yeah, that's one way you can do it. That's the way a lot of people do it. Uh, a really cheap way is to get just a white poster board. So I got this from Dollar Tree for a dollar. I think they're at Walmart for 88 cents. So yeah, this one I've had for over a year. So it's a little beat up, but it's a white backdrop, so it's still perfectly fine. And I'm going to show you how to take pictures on this backdrop. Another thing you can use is contact paper on like a foam board. So this was the first way I was taking pictures. I'll insert a, a picture of that up here. But yeah, so I, I don't know if you can see what the pattern is, but it's a marble uh, contact paper that I got off of um, Amazon. And then I just stuck it onto a poster board that I got from Dollar Tree for a dollar as well. And if you want to kick it up a notch, you can get paper backdrops from Amazon as well that look like real backdrops. So I have a bunch of them because I use them a lot for all my businesses actually. So this is the one I'm currently using. Like I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a marble tile. And it has a thing on the back too. But I don't use this one. Um, there's this wood one. I don't really use this one because it doesn't look as realistic. But this one looks good in photos. Woo! Just poked my eye. And then this one I use for my other business. And then you may recognize this one because this is the one I actually do my DIYs on. <laughs> And then this was also the one I used to take pictures on. I used just like a brown piece of construction paper and I put like it diagonal and took pictures on this. And I'll show you how to take pictures on these as well. Some other options would be to use like the seamless paper where it comes in the big roll. Uh, like you can see that in my, I think my second vlog, uh, studio vlog. And you can also use like the big old fabric backdrops. I don't use these so much anymore because they get so wrinkled and I just don't feel like dealing with them. And you can also use like a silky type of fabric. I use these for some photos like for Instagram. So I just bunch it up and you know get real artsy with it. And then some props you can use would be like um, some leaves. I have fake ones. I have some real ones uh, off of some plants that I have in a living room. Some nice bowls. Wooden bowls. Uh, marble bowls mortar and pestle. Today I'm going to use like cut up cucumbers because it's cucumber hydrazole. So first I'm going to show you how to take a photo on a white backdrop just in case you need it for like Amazon or your product photography. I don't typically use white backdrops but I did have to for Amazon so I had to learn but I'm going to take it on this 99 cent poster board which works perfectly fine and I'm going to use my iPhone which uh, is the iPhone 11 but as long as you have a good camera it really doesn't matter. Um, and then for my source of light I'm using the sun because it's free so um, you can use a ring light or some other source of light but I just have the light on in this room which can't really see right now but I have a window directly behind the camera 
where the sun is coming straight through at this time of day and I've closed this blind because the light will come through and it'll have like a line pattern coming through the back of the poster board which I don't want so first you need to make sure that your poster board is bent straight up and mine will be at an angle just because of where the sun is coming from and you can always put something just behind it so let's put this olive oil back there Okay, and then I'm going to put this here. So I'm just going to open my regular camera app. I haven't downloaded any extra apps um, for photo taking. So I'm going to get it in a position that I like. I typically like to take them a little further back just because um, sometimes I need to crop it in different ways for different, um, you know, platforms. So I'm going to tap the screen to where my text is where it says Cucumber Hydrazole. And then I'm just going to move up so I can move that texture I'm sorry that exposure up and as you can see the background and everything else of course will get lighter and the background gets whiter so I'm gonna get to a point that I'm okay with I think that's good and I'm gonna take the photo and I'm gonna do it from a couple different angles do some sideways I'm even going to take some from overhead and a trick you can do because sometimes you know it rolls uh, you can use like sticky tack I think I got it from the dollar store yeah I did because I got it at the same time as I got the poster board but they also have it at Michaels and stuff so I just stick it on the back of there and then have it just like that and I'm going to do it overhead now and making sure my shadow is not in there. So if you have to zoom in, just zoom in and do that same technique where you tap and turn up the exposure. So I only use two apps to edit my photos and one of those apps I only use if I'm using a white backdrop and that's going to be Facetune 2. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that app and open up my photo and then retouch and whiten and I'm just going to whiten the backdrop. So I like to keep it in the middle at first. So I'm just going to do the whole background. Alright, and then you can move the little dial to make it wider and then you can see what you missed. Because <laughs> I just did a quick sweep of it. But you do want to go ahead and get in all those nooks and crannies. Luckily this bottle doesn't have too many. And I do not overlap the white label. I just let it be. Okay. So I'm not going to make it that white. That was just to help out. So I'm going to, I like it around there. And then I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to open up the Lightroom app. And then open up that photo, which is this one here. And first I will crop it to my needs. So if it is for like Etsy or for something else, you need like a square. So you would want to back up, use a photo that's a little bit further back. But for this sake, I like a 4 by 5 because I'm just going to post this photo on my Instagram. So let me zoom in just a little bit. That's fine. And then there's like a little dot because I think I wrote in pencil right there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go to healing. And then I'm just going to go over that. And that works just fine. And now I'm going to adjust the lighting. So if you want it a little bit lighter, you change the exposure. I don't really need it that much lighter. And then contrast. You can see what that does. 
Alright, I'm just going to bump that up a little bit. If you don't want it as bright, you can take the highlight down or you can knock it up. So I am going to have it up. Shadows, no, I don't need to change that. The whites, you can always make it a little bit brighter, but I don't want that label to disappear into the background. So I'm just going to change it like that. And you can see what you started off as if you just hold down right here. All right. And I like that photo. And then, of course, there are presets, but we'll go over that when I do this little, um, the other type of backdrops you can use. So, I think that's a great photo. I'm just going to save it, export to camera roll, and I didn't have to do too much work. It didn't take long. Um, it took me longer to explain than anything. <laughs> so, yep, that's in my camera roll now, and now we're going to move on to a uh, different type of backdrop, like the backdrops that I got on Amazon. So for whatever reason, every couple of months, I like to change uh, photo backgrounds. And right now, I'm really liking the tile uh, marble. So I'm just going to take the sticky tack and put it dead in the center of the back. And lay it somewhere. I move it a lot. So um, and today we're using real cucumbers because it's cucumber hydrazol. So, you know, you can lay some out. And then in your camera app, just take a photo. Not everyone will work. I can already tell. I'm not going to care for this one that much. But you can do it. no expert product photographer obviously so I just do what I like So, I think I've come up with one I like, which would be that one right there. Okay. And so, you can eat them, but I have not disinfected that surface, so I'm not going to eat those. <laughs> and we can take it to um, Lightroom. supposed to show you the presets too so presets would look like that if you see any you can also buy them on Etsy or any website not any website but a lot of websites I'm not seeing any that I like you can change it to black and white I'm not a black and white type of photographer uh, matte that doesn't work for this type of photo so I'm going to edit it the old-fashioned way. So you can see that is the photo before and after. Okay. And I like it like that. So I'm going to export it to my camera roll. 
and that's it so those were my quickish tips on how to do product photography with the sun your phone and just some cheap backdrops so I do hope this helped I sincerely hope this helped some people out there and if you have any other tips for people please drop that in the comments below and if you have any questions I will do my best to answer those um, I'm not like an expert product photographer but I do pretty good I think so myself um, with the materials that I do have so yeah I hope this helped. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.